everyone, welcome to this week's video and today uh, I'm going to show you how to use the um, API Freshwater Mask Test Kit or any test kit as long as it's a liquid one and not test strips. Most people recommend getting a liquid um, test kit rather than a test strip one because they're more um, accurate, sorry I can't say that word but yeah it's, it's better, we'll just say that. So I've got an unboxing of this product on my YouTube channel and there will be a link down there to it. Okay, so uh, you want to take this card out and then you want to take all this paper. Well you don't have to take it out but that's the little instruction thing if you want to know. Okay, so I'm only taking this out so you can see everything. So you have, I think, seven? Yeah, you have seven chemicals and four glass tubes. So what you want to do is you want to fill these glass tubes with water up to this line here. So when you fill that up, we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, so I have now got four lots of water and I'm just going to put the cap on three of these uh, just so they don't tip over. So, I mean, you could only test uh, one thing, um, but this test kit can test five things um, all together but I'm only going to show you how to test four of them because you don't really want to test all five of them if you get me so I've just put the cap on all of them just because I've spilled a little bit of water um, from the tank so do get the water from the middle of the tank because it's uh, more fair so I've got one of the test tubes here and we're going to first test pH so my pH wants to be around 7.6 so what you want to do, you want to open the cap, look on the bottle, and it says here, add three. So you want to add three of these. Uh, now with this, uh, you want to hold the red bit there, hold that, and, uh, and unscrew. If you just unscrew it normally, it will just go everywhere. So, so what you want to do is make sure you don't spill it and just add, wait let me check, three so one, two, three so that's three drops in here and you just want to put the lid on and just shake out now I'm just going to leave it over there and now we're going to test the next one which I will Probably, I'm thinking that I should test, whoops, dropped a bottle, I'm going to test, so um, if you have high range pH, test that, but if you don't, test normal pH, um, I'm going to do nitrite, so nitrite I think comes in two bottles, I'm not actually, maybe it's just, no, sorry, just checking, no, it comes in one bottle, so all you want to do is open the tube up, unscrew the bottle and add five drops now you want to put the lid on nice and tight and shake and you want to leave it over there now you can leave it for like 10 minutes or something but I just like leaving them just because I find it's better <laughs> next thing you want to do is test another one so I'm going to test ammonia now ammonia comes in two bottles this particular um, test has a little bottle one and bottle two so this one here says bottle one add eight drops this one says bottle two um, add so bottle two add eight drops so I'm going to add so you want to put get you want to get bottle one and add eight drops Now you want to get the other bottle and it says add another 8 drops so that's 8 we want to put the lid on and shake hmm I think 
I might have to, I'll, I'll leave that just, I'll leave that there, it'll be fine. Okay, so put the lids back on, and now we'll move on to the final test, which is the nitrate test. Make sure you don't get the nitrite bottle and the nitrate bottles confused. They're very similar, but they've made them um, kind of different colours. So, anyway, so you've got these two bottles. Uh, bottle one here, and bottle two here. It, obviously it says on the label, and it wants you to add ten drops of this one, and ten drops of the other one. So, you want to add ten. Now my tank usually comes up quite bad on this one, not quite bad, but it comes like not as well as what I hope it could be, but I mean my tank is in like, it's kind of, it's kind of in a bad way, it's got really too much algae that I would want in there. Sorry, just count in there. Um, so, put the lid on and shake, and just leave that over there. Okay, so, um, so usually what happens on these tests is my tank doesn't come up too good, but most of, so, on these cards I usually get pH good, uh, ammonia good, nitrate, Good, no nitrite good and I usually get nitrate not too good but let's hope today it will be good so we're going to take a look at my results now and hope last time i done this which is on my video which is already uploaded um, it's about it will be um, in that corner here where my finger is sorry if that looks wrong there um, that will be to my last results last time i done this